Hello everyone. First in my Let's Play Classic Newground series is the Operation Powerpuff trilogy by Henry Singh, known on Newgrounds as H3. Whilst inconsiderately lumped as an assassin game, Operation Powerpuff possesses a vast amount of underlying symbolism, which if detected at the time perhaps would have made it a more fondly remembered classic. First we start with Blossom, submitted December 18th, 2000, one of the portal's oldest flashes, and Mr. Seng's first work, which is a true testament to its quality. Seng breaks from normal conventions by having our first target be the leader. This is because the purpose of the flash is to eliminate our senses of shame, of innocence. Much like that iconic scene from Metal Gear Solid 3, Blossom lies helpless until we the player pull the trigger. Yet instead of accepting her fate, Blossom begs for her life, an act we're unwilling to partake in. Finally, the paralyzed Blossom is left to die with a grenade in her mouth, a most powerful and moving scene. Seng taunts the viewer with Blossom's solitary tear, a reminder of the innocence that we're about to literally blow to pieces. Whilst a little rough around the edges, even today the Flash sits at a comfortable 3.5 rating, and Seng's artistic output couldn't be stopped, with part 2 being released only just a few weeks later. This second part of the Operation Powerpuff trilogy focuses around the character of Bubbles. It was released on the 11th of January 2001, and as you'll soon see, it's a vast improvement graphically from the previous instalment. What makes this entry particularly noteworthy is the underlying symbolism that has been masterfully crafted that you really have to take a good look to see. This episode focuses on man's reluctance to acknowledge the problems caused by climate change. Bubbles, through her innocence and inner purity, represents the Earth, and we, the player, represent mankind's unwillingness to act, which is clever use of irony given that this instalment requires more frequent interaction than the previous. Here, you can see the Bubbles is almost naturally drawn to the dog trap. This represents a wild man is quick to react with the heart and sympathize with the plight of animals. Very little emphasis is placed elsewhere. The noxious gases, representing greenhouse gases and other toxic waste, lead Bubbles, and therefore Earth, to its downfall, and from here on out there is no salvation for any of us. I can make this hypothesis because unlike the other two entries, there is no way to lose the game, you can only stall for time, perhaps suggesting that Seng believes that the Earth's degradation is inevitable. Here, you can see the Bubbles is completely helpless, lost, and afraid. By shaving her hair, it's clear that all that remains are her clothes and makeup, which are artificial things, turning the Earth into a husk devoid of any natural resources. Finally, take into consideration man's abuse and indulgence of resources such as water and electricity, and it's left us blind. If we don't take steps now to try and fix the mistakes we've made, it's only a matter of time before nothing remains. The final Operation Powerpuff entry is naturally Buttercup, released April 8th, 2002. A considerable gap from the previous entry, and while both the highest rated and easily the highest quality installment and game, it's obvious that Mr. Seng had begun to crumble to the demands of the ever-growing portal, and any light-hearted or optimistic symbolism was instead replaced by Mr. Seng's contempt for the feminist movement. At first I held hope, as placing a quick time event mechanism within the gameplay and I hoped put in the idea that unless one is vigilant, they're at their most vulnerable when their goals are most at hand, but my hopes didn't last. Each wave of Buttercup's attacks comes in pairs, a testament to Seng's belief that a woman shouldn't have to be told twice.
The symbolism of driving a stake through Buttercup's heart and leaving her pinned to the ground is so obvious that it barely needs explaining. It's a testament of the feelings of loneliness and need for possession that Mr. Seng felt while creating the piece. Again, he tries to recreate the same heart-wrenching emotions of having to pull the trigger each time on the innocent blossom, but having to do so after defending yourself removes any feeling of guilt and it's ultimately a hollow gesture. The final scene tells me that Seng was aware that his heart wasn't in it anymore, and he decided he was going to leave with a bang. Several of them. With this final scene, Seng tries to redeem himself by airing his plight publicly to the masses. Buttercup's face, much like Seng's credibility, is slowly being beaten away until there's nothing left. <laughs>